we're going to break down chords by Matteo Sasato. This one is definitely a favorite of mine. As always, there's a link in the description that'll take you to my website where you can download the tab. And the lesson will be time coded into different sections, and that time code will also be available in the description. If you have any questions relating to guitar tone, be sure to watch the first couple minutes of the Bluesy Wednesday tutorial. One last quick note before we get started, Mateus used a guitar that was tuned down a half step. For ease of learning, um, I'm just gonna keep my guitar in standard, that way if you've got a floating bridge or whatever, you don't have to worry about tuning down that half step, we can just stay in standard for this. With that, let's get into it. So we're in the key of A, um, and essentially what we're doing in this first loop here is we're playing D to A to E back to A. So we have the 4 to the 1 to the 5 back to the 1. So because we're in the key of A, like some of the other pieces that uh, we've done here, um, we have the 4 is D, that's an open string, we've got the 1, A, that's an open string, we have the 5, E. So that kind of, that frees up Mateus, and he's kind of, he's able to play whatever he feels all over the fretboard, and he's able to still hit those root notes because they're all open strings. So key of A, super convenient. So we're going to start on the 7th fret of the D string, we're hammering our ring finger onto 9, sliding up to 11, and then we're going to grab the 9th fret of the G string with our index. Now we're going to take our ring finger, slide from the 11 up to the 13, while simultaneously striking that open D string. So that D string is going to ring out under all of that. So we're going uh, 13, trill up to 14, back down to 13, pull off to 11. And then once we get down to 11, with the ring finger, we're going to pull off to the 9 of the G string with the index finger, and then hammer that ring finger back on. So all together. One more time. So next we're going to take our index finger, put it on the 9 of D, and hammer on to the ring finger on the 11 of D, and right when we hit that 9, we're going to also hit the open A string. So all together, once we're there, we're going to slide our ring finger down to the 9 of D. We're going to do a little trill up to 10. So we're going up to 10, back down to 9, pull off to the index of 7. So all together. Now we're going to hit the open E string as well as our ring finger on 9, immediately sliding up to 11. So I went up to 11, strike again, and slide down to 9. So I'm going to pull off to 7, strike again, and hammer on. So all together. And then we're going to take those same two fingers on the same two frets, but just on the E string. I'm going 7, 9 on E, and then I'm going to strike the G string, so um, my pinky has the 9 of G, and I'm sorry, so index on 7 comes first, so index on 7 of the D, pinky on 9 of the G, and I'm sliding that shape down to 7, striking the open B string, and then my pinky is going to go to the 6 of G while my middle finger goes to the 5 of E. So. Slide down, open B, A shape. 
whole thing nice and slow. Alright, so we're moving on. Uh, we're going to take our ring finger, put it on the ninth fret of the E string. So we're going 9, index on 7 of A, hammering up to the 9 of A, and hitting the 7 of D. So a really cool little flavor that he'll add in is he kind of bends. So I think that's really cool. I usually forget to do it every time I play it, but definitely takes it's like one of those things that he does that'll take his playing to the next level so you could play it or and it just kind of adds that a little bit of extra something uh, so we're nine seven nine seven and then we're gonna make like a D shape so we're gonna hit the root of D and then we're gonna kind of lay our ring finger on the seventh fret to grab those harmonics of the D, G, and B string. And then we're going to grab the harmonics on the 12th fret of the E and B. So all together. So right after I grab those harmonics on the 12th fret, I'm grabbing those with my pinky. And then immediately after, I'm going to finger the 12th fret of the B string and the 12th fret of the D string with my pinky and my ring finger. And I'm gonna slide up to the 14th fret. And then I'm gonna hit the, the uh, A string, so. Then I'm gonna take that same shape and move it down to 12. So I'm gonna slide both of those up to 13, back down to 12, and then I'm gonna pull my pinky off to my index on the 10 of B, so. And then I'm gonna slide down to the seventh fret. So I'm taking this shape, going down to the seventh fret and pulling off to my index on the fifth fret. So all together. And then I'm going to go to the second fret. So um, my thumb's coming over, grabbing the second fret of E. My index finger is grabbing the second fret of G. And I'm striking. So G and E, E, and then D. I'm going to slide that up to the fourth fret, hit the high E string. Then I'm going to take my middle finger, put it on the 5 of E, my index finger, and put it on the 4 of D, and my pinky, and put it on the 7 of G. And I'm going to just roll those. And then my index finger is going to come up to the 5 of E, my ring finger is going to go to the 7 of D, and my middle finger is going to go to the 6 of G. Close out, ring finger is going to go to the 9 of E. My index finger is barring the 7 of A and D, and I'm hammering up to the 9 of the D string, doing the little Mateus trill. So up to 10, back down to 9, pull off to 7. And then I'm just going back down that little chord shape, so I'm hitting the A string and the E string. Whole thing nice and slow.
So I'm going to start this section off. Um, we've got a little D shape here. So it would be like a D major 7. So my middle finger is on the 10th fret of the E string. That's grabbing the root of the chord. My index finger is on the 9th fret of the A string. That's grabbing the 3rd. And my ring finger is grabbing the 11th fret of the D string. And that's grabbing the 7th of the chord. So I'm going to hammer up to that 7 from the 6, which is right here. So. So my index is barring both the A and the D string on the 9th fret. So I'm going to hammer up, and then I'm going to strike again before I pull back off. So it doesn't sound as cool as... So my pinky's grabbing the 12 of A, going down to the index on the 9 of A. So I'm going to strike that E string, and I'm going to hammer my ring finger up to the 11th fret of A. So that's 11, slide down to 9, pull off to 7, pinky on 10. And then I'm going to grab the 9th fret with my middle finger. This is really cool, I love this part. So 9, so 9 with my middle on E. Index gets the 7 of the D string, pinky gets the 10 of the G string, and my ring finger gets the 9 of the B string. And then I'm going to slide that ring finger up to the 12th fret of the B string and bend up a full step. So it'll sound like this, but the bend on the 12th really gives it a little bit of extra flavor. So it's always good practice to bend the note and then play the fretted note that you're trying to hit. So that way you can make sure your bends are in tune. So we're gonna bend up and we're gonna bend back down and then pull off to the index finger on the 10th fret of B and then slide down to nine and then add your ring finger onto the 11 of G. And then you're already set up in, like that's the proper shape. We're just gonna slide the index finger down to five and the ring finger down to seven. So I'm hitting the open D string, the seven of G, and the five of B, and I'm gonna hammer my pinky up to the seven of B. All I'm doing there is that little Mateus trill, so up to eight, back down to seven, pull off to five, hammer back onto seven. And then I'm gonna take my index finger, slide it up to the 10th fret. So my index finger is barring 10 of G and B. And my ring finger is gonna hammer on to the 12. My pinky is gonna hammer on to 13, pull it back off. So, ring, pinky, ring, pull back off to index. And then I'm going to restrike that G string. So, all together. So, I'm going to grab a big old C sharp minor chord. So I've got my index barred on the 9th fret. My ring finger is grabbing the 11th fret of the A string. So we have E, A, and then we're going to hit D and G together, and my pinky's going to hammer up to the 11 of the G string. My ring finger is going to come down to the 11th fret of the D string, and it's going to slide down to 9, pull off to the index on 7. Then we're going to go to an F sharp minor. So that's just index on 9 of A, ring on 11 of D, pinky on 11 of G, middle on 10 of B, and we're going to hit the A, D, G, B, E string, and then go back down. And we've got one last chord shape to close out. I'm going to grab my ring finger on the 11 of E, take my index finger, put it on the 8 of D and slide up to the 9. Pinky grabs the 11 of G and then B remains open. And then 
and back down. So this whole section, nice and slow. All right, so we're gonna start this section off. Middle finger gets the seventh fret of the E string. Ring finger gets the seven of G. We're pulling off to the index on the six of G. And then hammering back onto the ring finger to the seven. Take that shape, slide it up. And then put the index finger on the seven of D. So that index finger is going to move from the 7 of D down to the 4 of D. And then middle and ring are going to hop on to the 5 of E and A respectively. So. Then we're going to hit the open B, grab the 7th fret of the D string with our ring finger. Then we're going to grab the 4 of the D string with the index finger and hammer on our ring finger onto the 6 while simultaneously hitting that low E string. So we're going up to 6, sliding down to 4. Got the little Mateus trill, so up to 5, back down to 4, pull off to 2. And then we're going to take that index finger, slide it down to 1, middle finger and ring finger are going to go on to the second fret of E and A. So that's a cool chord in the key of A. B is usually minor, um, which is our two chord. He makes it major. So there's a little bit of cool tension there. Um, so you're hitting the E, A, D, and then you're going to skip the G. Then you're going to take your middle finger, add it to the 2nd fret of the G string. Thumb's going to come over and grab the 1 of E. Um, so as the thumb is grabbing the 1 of E, you're hitting the open E, the high E. So this is kind of like a major 7 chord. So you're doing like a flat 6 flat seven to one. So the way he does it, ring finger on three, pull off to the one, and that's both on the B string. Then we're gonna slide up thumb over the top on the E string. Our index finger is gonna be on the second fret of the G string, and we're gonna hammer up to the fourth fret with our ring finger. Got that little Mateus trill again, so up to five, back down to four, pull off to two. Then we're going to go to this cool little shape. Um, so our middle finger is on the 4th fret of the A string. Pinky is on the 6th fret of the D string. Index is on the 2nd fret of the G string. And then we're going to skip the B string and go up to the E. So that shape's pretty cool. We're hitting a C sharp, which is the 3 of A, a G sharp, which is the 7 of A, We've got A, and then E, which is the 5, and B, which is the 2. So we're essentially playing this, but because our lowest note is a C sharp, we'd consider that to be an inversion, and that adds a little bit of extra tension, doesn't quite feel like 1. So it's really cool. Typically, you would do that flat 6, flat 7, up to 1. But he's doing a flat 6, flat 7, doesn't want to resolve it yet, and he goes to one, but he goes to an inversion of one. So that's that's a really cool thing um, that I personally, like, my ear enjoys that when I hear it. Because it doesn't feel like the, the piece is finished yet. He could have easily went. Right? 
but he wanted to milk it. He didn't want that piece to finish. So that's kind of like a, that's a cool little takeaway that you can take out of this piece. Um, if you want to make something longer where it should resolve, resolve it to the one, but maybe use an inversion and then it won't feel finished yet. And then you can say more. You know, so I'll get off my soapbox. We'll keep going. Um, now we're up to this D minor nine shape. So index finger is barring the ten of G, B, and E, and my ring finger is gonna hammer up to the twelve of E. Pull back off. Grab the thirteen of B. Then my ring finger is going to grab the 12 of D. So ring finger on the 12 of D. Index is still barring that 10 of G and B. I'm going to hammer up my pinky to the 12 of B. So all together. And I'm hitting that low E here. So I'll play that whole section nice and slow. So that whole last section we've already played, um, the only difference is we end on that A. So this we've already played. Now in the first section we went to, but we're just gonna end on an A major. So there I'm just barring my index finger on the five, got my ring and pinky on the seven of A and D, middle finger is on the six of G. Okay, I'm gonna play the whole piece nice and slow. Hopefully that'll give you something to practice too. this video to be helpful definitely give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in more videos relating to guitar related theory and Mateus tutorials be sure to subscribe thanks for sticking around <laughs>